What's up everyone? I'm Nathan Graham Davis and I'm a Hollywood screenwriter living in Massachusetts. It's been a little bit since I've updated this series. Uh, somewhat ironically, given the premise of it, my last update was in April, right before I quit my job and became a full-time writer. I thought I'd have a lot more time to do things like create YouTube videos, but as I started working out how to schedule my days, I realized there still weren't enough hours in the day to accomplish everything that I wanted to do. My goal has never been to be a YouTuber or a screenwriting guru. It's always been to make movies, and so I decided to put YouTube on hold for a while and just focus on the actual writing. And I am so glad I did. Despite the fact that I've been pretty productive, it's gotta be said, my timing was about as bad as it possibly could have been in terms of quitting my day job. Um, you know, I'd been attempting to time it a couple months before the release of Aftermath because I wanted to be available to take the slew of meetings that I've been told happen when you have a movie come out. However, the expected release date of that movie has changed considerably, uh, largely due to the amount of posts that's been done on it. Um, there were a lot of VFX involved, like way more than I would have thought when I was writing it and even more than I think anybody thought when it was in production. Um, I haven't seen anything for several months, but everything that I'm hearing is that it's looking and sounding awesome and I absolutely can't wait to see the finished product. But that also means that my timing was very much off in that sense. Also, I don't know if you've heard, but uh, the writers are on strike right now and have been since the beginning of May, uh, which is about two weeks after I quit my job. I'm a non-guild writer, and so I thought this wouldn't affect me too much, but the WGA has asked all non-guild writers to hold off on working on any projects that could eventually be distributed to signatory companies and studios. Since that includes both of my setup movies and everything that I've written since, it effectively means that I'm on strike as well. Uh, and I absolutely support the strike. It needs to happen. Um, all of the points that the guild is fighting for are crucial to uh, just the success and health of this industry and for writers in general. But as far as timing for quitting my day job, um, it's not been great. Unfortunately, I put my notice in way ahead of time to allow my boss to hire a worthy replacement. And he hired that worthy replacement about two months before I left. So even when the murmurs of a strike started surfacing in like late March and April, I had to stick with the plan. So what have I been doing with all of this time? Well, I've been writing. A lot. And I've written a brand new action thriller called Control, which I think is a single draft away from being ready. I did two passes on another one called Bench Must Bleed, which again, I think probably needs one more draft, um, but it's close. I wrote a 10,000 word short story for my son's birthday, which I actually think has a pretty sick concept, and so I may try and do something with that. Uh, and then finally, and somewhat surprisingly, while I was waiting for notes on the new scripts, I dusted off and reread an older spec of mine called Congratulations, It's an Alien. That script was actually like the first pro-ish level script I ever wrote. It wasn't quite there, uh, but it was close enough that it kind of earned me the friendship and mentorship of some really incredible writers, which were invaluable in terms of, you know, writing my next script. And that was Aftermath, the movie that eventually got made. But Congratulations, It's an Alien was an action comedy and my managers always wanted to build my brand as a writer of grounded action thrillers, so they never really looked at it, and that script just continued to collect dust for years and years. Rereading it this summer, I was stoked to find that the bones of it were really strong. So I read it once more, took notes on it, and then spent a couple weeks just tackling an overhaul. I'm really, really stoked about what came from that. I plan to do one more pass, and then I'm going to do something kind of fun and experimental. I'm gonna release it on my website as soon as the strike is over, because why not? But anyway, this series is not supposed to just be a vlog, but something that, you know, kind of shares what I've learned along the way. And although my professional dealings over the last few months have been super limited, I've definitely gained at least some insights. One, for years and years and years, I always wished for the ability to just write full time because I felt like if I could just have that extra bandwidth, I'd be able to be so much more productive and would experience a ton of growth. And well, that's actually true, it turns out. So if you're in the enviable position of being able to write full time because you've saved a lot of money or have parents or a partner who can support you for a while, then yeah, it will probably be a beneficial thing as long as you can be disciplined about it. But the main reason that I'm sharing this is for the rest of you who like I was have been grinding for years and years to get your writing in on early mornings or late nights or on lunch breaks, uh, you are not crazy. You really are playing this game on hard mode and I salute you for it. 
In terms of being disciplined, I've been mostly really good about that. Not perfect, but definitely solid. The journaling and the daily power list I do, which I've talked about on here before, are instrumental. Um, and I've also taken to planning my weeks out on Sundays, just like taking stock of what I need to accomplish, what meetings and obligations I have, and scheduling out all of my writing and daily goals ahead of time so that I can just go into the week with a plan. That has worked really well. Also really important and maybe kind of obvious, um, but setting boundaries around social media. I try and force myself to knock out a couple hours of steady, undistracted work at a time before allowing myself to check in with it. Not that, you know, it's shocking, but it really makes such a huge difference. Um, it's hard to do the kind of deep thinking we need to do as writers when we're multitasking or checking our notifications every 10 minutes. One thing I'm still working through is the anxiety that's come with making this leap. My mental health has not, you know, always been perfect. Um, I've struggled with depression many times. I've talked about that on here at least once or twice, but I've never really been an anxious person. But it's been a weird thing to jump from a good job with a steady paycheck to not having any idea where you know my next income is going to come from. The strike stalling, everything has not helped. Uh, and you know now I'm coming up on five months of having quit my job, which means I've got maybe seven left before I'll have to find a job again if I don't make some real income with my writing. So yeah, it's just, you know, it's weird to deal with all that uncertainty and once in a while that anxiety results in a day that's unproductive. Like I said, I'm still working through that, but it does feel like I'm making progress. One of the most helpful things has simply been to, you know, like I was talking about before, plan out my week every single Sunday. It's that whole focus on what you can control mentality. And when I know what I'm going to work on and what I need to accomplish, it's much easier to stay focused and make progress toward my goals. Regardless of some of the challenges and whatever the ultimate outcome might be, this has been an incredible gift. Um, I definitely don't regret betting on myself in this way, even if my timing was absolutely god awful. It's been awesome to be able to work on my passion as my nine to five and you know, have evenings and weekends with my family because I've always worked on weekends in the past because that was necessary in order to get my, you know, writing in. And now I feel like I have a taste of a normalish life, which is pretty cool. Hopefully I can keep that going. Uh, but if not, you know, what the hell? I got a movie made. Uh, I've been able to live out my actual dream for a while. It's super hard not to feel grateful about that. Anyway, I'll be coming out of the strike with two projects set up and at least two more brand new specs ready to go. So although there are no guarantees, that's just not a bad place to be. So uh, we will see what happens. For those of you who've been following along, I hope that you're doing well. I hope you've been able to, you know, write something and be productive during this weird time. Uh, and you know, if you've had any milestones or accomplishments, shout them out in the comments. I'd love to hear about them. Thanks so much, everybody, and all the best as you chase your own dreams. <laughs>